So today we'll do some more work on the old Benz here, the W211 E-Class. And uh, yeah, I'll upgrade it with LEDs. So this has uh, in the front here, these old daytime running lights, which are halogen. They don't look really old like good and they're not really bright anymore. So I bought some LEDs for it and we'll upgrade it. But before I'll show you uh, how they look now. Right. Just uh, very old and not very bright. The important thing is that you buy CAN bus LEDs because uh, if you buy just random LEDs, the computer of the car will freak out and they will not work or they will blink or they just do some weird stuff. So those are CAN bus specific LED lights. As you see, they're pretty small. Um, and yeah, I hope I can reach them. <laughs> so there is this uh, cover which you need to twist off. So we do that. Ah, Counterclockwise, there we go. And do not fall down, please. Yes, there we go. This, that lower one is our LED. And so, hopefully, or well, this is where our LED goes. I'd rather say now there's a bulb in there. And so, what we have to do is pull on those wires. Oh, well, I'm trying not to pull on the wires themselves too much because, well, obviously, they don't want to break them off. Ah, this is impossible to film, guys. <laughs> so there it is, I got it out. And now we pop off the old bulb and pop in the LED, which is pretty simple, just plugs in. There's our LED. As you see, it plugs in like this. And so that's what we'll do. We'll plug it onto our socket. There you go, it's connected. And now, you plug it back in. See, there is our new LED. So, I'm gonna now turn on the light and see if it works. Yay, LED. All right, number two. So if you're asking why I only turn those lights on so damn short is, well, it's simple. I don't wanna burn my fingers when I take out this bulb because those halogen bulbs, they get really hot. So actually good tip, don't do this when the car is warm. Wait until it's cold. So, oh yeah, and uh, before we forget it, this we of course need to put back on, which uh, I'm attempting now without light. I think I did it. <laughs> yeah, it's on. Number two, exact same process. I don't think it has ever been taken off in this car. So that one was a little easier to access because there is not this reservoir in the way. So yeah, um, same process. Just take this out and this looks like a different bulb. This other one might have been replaced or that one. I think this is the stuck one. As you see, this has already been replaced once. So let's replace it with something even better. <laughs> there we go, second one is in. I shined the flashlight through here and then I exactly saw where I had to place the socket so that made it uh, a lot easier so yeah good tip don't fiddle around like I did to shine a light through and you immediately know where it goes all right let's test this one as well yes that looks that looks really good guys honestly it really does. So, yeah, let's put this cover back on. Yeah, that looks a lot better. My gosh, we just made this car five years newer. <laughs> Such a simple mod, but wow, so good. Now, this has um, 
halogen fog lights as well and i might do them in the future too but they're a little more effort to get to and i might do this when it's a little warmer um, but right now this has to do and this is good let's move on to the back here in the back we have this awful license plate light which <laughs> as you see like it's so dim so first it's dim but also um a very you know exact instructor for road inspection might put an advisory item um saying this needs to be replaced in the future or like uh license plate light is dim or just something like that so yeah um and by the way if one of these wouldn't work that's an immediate fail so yeah like we love our license plate lights in austria road, road inspection loves it uh so we're gonna make them happy and change out those really terrible old bulbs for new leds so here we'll just need a phillips screwdriver and a flathead one to pop this out and then we should get to the bulbs now same story as on the front lights these need to be can bus leds so that we don't get an error or they might not work or flicker so again needs to be can bus so we, we don't have an error in the dashboard nothing so those are already good uh, let's hope those are good as well. I mean, I bought it from the same seller, so it should be okay. But still, you never know. So this even came out itself. There it is. As you see, old style halogen bulb. Doesn't look too fresh anymore, does it? Probably a good idea to replace those like these as well at one point because they just look pretty bad <laughs> um, get this I don't know they work I can't even see through this because it's so dirty and just crap ah oh, gosh yeah there you go it fits in there nicely no problem at all it's just adjusted a bit down so that uh, yeah like that I mean, I don't know how it is with this one, but <laughs> we have to see when we have a license plate on how it how it all looks. So I don't know what happened now, guys, but the left one works. The right one all of a sudden doesn't anymore. I don't know why. Did it die itself or did I mess with it a bit too much? I don't know. We'll have to unscrew that again, which kind of sucks because I'm freezing and want to go home, but... Yeah, this is what we have to do. Let's investigate. LED is okay, as you see. I don't know what happened. Might have been pushed out of its socket somehow. So I'll put in this now with a bit more finesse or like a bit more gentle. This surely isn't right because here it's rock solid and here it does the dance. <sighs> I don't like that, so I'm gonna take this back out. Ah, I don't know how good you can see this now with the LED on, but this entire like thing here is loose, which I don't think I did that, honestly. I must have been loose before, so nothing I can do. Um, in the future, we'll install a backup camera in this anyway, and so we'll have to take apart the inners here. So I'll have to kind of glue this back in, it should be fine then, so. But until then, it has to be jiggly. There we go. Trust me, personally, it does make a difference, especially when there's a license plate on. Um, so yeah, that's it from the outside for now. So I'm in this random parking garage here and uh, yeah like every normal person i will today change out my old halogen bulbs here for led oh there are no other ones here i think no well, here are some more there you go we get some here where is yeah there is one finally at last jesus i really thought it had more um but yeah nice uh license plate lights 
Ah uh, yes, and also about the license plate light situation, I changed those out for some different ones because as, uh, as you remember it had this like really old um, like frame over it and now I have ordered two brand new ones. Look just a lot better, no, don't really cost a lot, looks a lot better. So there's that. And of course, yeah, those ones still looking good. Now let's do the interior. Now this is gonna be a little bit of a job. Um, this one especially, this is gonna be awful. Um, this thing has to come down. I don't know if I will do the mirrors today in this parking garage here. Why am I actually in this parking garage while well, I'm waiting for a client? And he says it's late, so don't be late, guys. But I decided I take the time and uh, fit some of those LEDs. So this is what I bought. Actually, half them now a couple of days. I just never got around to it. So they sent me this prying tool, and as you see, all of those trunk, um, glove compartment, and uh, like everything is nicely labeled. Kind of cool in all the different languages there <laughs> like perfect to learn some vocabulary there you go sun visors sonnenblenden senizi parasolare caminidas whatever miroha de cotua napelinizuk markshi and oh my gosh polish people how do you do this or I forget it. <laughs> Let's fit some LEDs. Yeah, people are looking at me strange for I don't know why they do it. Because I'm doing this here in the freaking parking garage. But anyway, we are gonna start with something easy that will immediately make a big, big difference. Um, trunk. I was really looking forward to those because in the trunk, as you see those old lights, they don't do anything. They are just nothing. And some E-classes they also have here a light, but mine again, the Soviet spec one, doesn't have that. So, you know what, doesn't matter. Let's do those. And I will only show you one because it's not the most exciting thing. So you pry this out, pretty damn simple. There is our really hot bulb probably. Oh, yep. Come on, come on. That's not good. Before. After. Immediate difference. Yes. That is much better, guys. I love it. Really nice. So, I will now do the doors. Those should be also very simple. And then we're gonna tackle the not so fun stuff. And before. Yeah, that one is almost out. <laughs> On camera it looks pretty good, but in real, real it's like almost not existent. And the others as well. So we'll do those. Well, I'll show you how they look. <laughs> I don't know why this one doesn't work. This one works. Ah, now it started working. Uh huh. Oh well. And this one works too. Guys, you don't believe how frustrating that was. Not because it was particularly hard, but because I had to like lay down and all this crap here now yes i'm not complaining too much because i'm doing this here and you know nobody's making me do this but still um wasn't fun but anyway you do it all for the looks huh there you go definitely an improvement definitely oh my god <laughs> all right let's clean off the dirt of my jacket and then tackle the interior so got this piece out, just pops out really easy actually. 
and I will change the bulbs in that, but that's all I have time for. The most annoying and most intense piece is the one in the mirror, and uh, like the, the, the most important one actually, but I have to do that another time. But this I will do right now, and uh, then we'll be back. So this is how this works, this just screws out. You pop the old bulb out, the new LED in, and you just screw it back in, I suppose. There it is. Yeah, now the rest. And they're all the same, so there's nothing you can mess up. Okay guys, for today I'm done. I will tackle this end boss here another day because this really takes a lot of time and probably involves a lot of cursing. But let's check out the ones we already have. This is the old stuff, as you see. It doesn't look too nice, really. <laughs> uh, this, as you see, is... Uh, working. I don't know why the big ones don't work though. Uh, I really have genuinely no idea. Let's see if you turn on the light. That works. Huh. Ah, there we go. So there you go. As you see here, old and new definitely makes a big difference. Oh my god. Also, I like the door lights. Trunk. This is probably the most useful out of all, because previously you couldn't see anything. But, there are a lot of... Yeah, that looks... As you can see, that looks pretty good. So, here it is. Bretna Kansala, front dome, that's these, here, mirror, and here, definitely need to do those, and the rest, I like some, I just don't have, so, yeah, you, I will be back. Right, the pressing part is over, now, I'm really looking forward to changing those into LEDs, because they really look dull. And this is how they could look, much nicer. Really like the looks of the LEDs. Also here, that helped me the past days. Um, and yeah, so I watched a, a video how to do it and how this guy does it basically is he removes this piece here first, that one there. And then that comes off, this uh, outer like thing. And uh, then he pulls down on the mirror and that releases this whole unit here. And then we can hopefully install the LEDs, hopefully. Right, um, this came off with relative ease. So now we proceed here, proceed to this thing, which should also pop right out. Just like the tutorial video, pop it right out. So now, <laughs> um, here is the sensor for rain and for light and dark and whatever. Now we should be able to pull the mirror down. Um, oh man, he did it so easily in the video. It's always the same, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna have to see the video again, but like all he does literally is just pull it down. And people wrote in the comments that it's hard to reattach. So that's something I'm not looking forward to particularly, but it's what we have to do. So let's do it. Right guys, mirror is down, but Jesus Christ, that made a horrible snap. And this piece here flew out and I have no idea where it went. And I'm not too worried, it's just the piece that uh, clips in, but I'm gonna have to locate it so I don't forget about it. Ah, there it is. See, that's where 
other options would go, but here it's just a you know, blank plastic. So not the end of the world that this flew out. If this had some buttons on, I think that would not have been that great, but it doesn't. So it's just a, a cover piece really. So here is all the, here are all the, the parts for the, the piece. And now, as you see there, I don't know if you're supposed to take this out or what, but this is how it looks. Oh, it came right out. And <laughs> look at that. That also came right out. I don't know where that is supposed to go, but there it went. Okay, I see some cables. I see some cables. Ha, huh. at least got the mirror free. That is good. Can I just leave this dangling like that? But I don't like how it's putting stress on that ribbon cable here. Guys, check this out. Bam, LED, yay. That wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it was. Oh my God, why is it always that the Stuff that seems the worst is sometimes really the easiest. All right, now it's mirror time. You cannot just take out those. I mean, I will peek in there for sure before I open this whole thing up. But from my, from what I watched in the videos, they always take apart the mirror completely and replace it from the inside somehow. I don't know, maybe I can cheat my way around it, but I don't think I can. So I took out the uh, plate here and as you see that's what they meant you can't really pull it off or can you I don't know I think it's gonna be stuck in there pretty good I'm gonna have an attempt to use pliers and just pry it out but I got a feeling it's not gonna work this way why else would they make this video then and what's hilarious is as you see there's a uh, what that is like this band is in there just like a I don't know something you put around your wrist or something that must have been hanging there at one point and then got lost inside the mirror which is funny so I'm gonna fish that out and then uh, do the LED stuff right that's what it is a mirror with some lights nothing too fancy really I wouldn't dare to think taking apart like a modern car mirror with all this stuff in them but here it is, and now I have to somehow, don't ask me how, get access to those LEDs, maybe take out this whole contraption there. Jesus, that's a lot of effort. I like saw in a video that this was already falling apart in someone's hands, so mine seems to be pretty in good condition. There it is, our damn halogen bulb is out. How did I do it? Unclip this piece. It just goes in like this, not a big deal really. And then pushed it out from the back. So it just goes boop. Um, I'm trying to do the second one without removing it, but I fear I have no access to like to push it out, I don't know. Um, so yeah, there it is. That's what I did it for guys. Just to do that. <laughs> oh man. So far I like what I'm doing. Hopefully I'm still gonna like it when I have to put this mirror back because that is probably a very like a uh, solid thing here. So maybe like work a little bit with this, this spring, like compress it in advance. I don't know guys, I don't know. Right folks, second LED is installed and honestly, I think you could really do this without taking apart the whole damn mirror. Um, you could maybe really use pliers and pry it out. I don't know, probably is, is possible but now i did it is it isn't all too bad i'm used to this clip shit you know i use a use this technique a lot on everyday terms so but yeah maybe you could really make this uh work a different way but here it is i reassemble it i'm that confident with my stuff but first i'll just clean it a bit because it looks really disgusting so i used some isopropyl alcohol to clean it off a bit and it didn't really do a whole lot, honestly.
but this is not a perfect car guys and uh it probably won't be visible anyway if you look like this so yeah now reassembly not looking forward to that but it's what we have to do so let's do that mercedes engineers please forgive me i forgot your sound deadening thing here whatever that is i'm really sorry uh it seems solid though so i, I don't know what what this really did to be honest with you but um yeah all the leds work yes the ones in the mirror also do man am i glad <laughs> so now comes from uh, at least from what the tutorials always said the hardest part that is the putting the mirror thing back in so yeah let's do that this mirror really is a stupid matter tracker but after a lot of cursing, a lot of swearing, and wanting to throw this out, really, I was really pissed. Then I googled, and uh, yeah, some really helpful gentlemen on the Mercedes forum posted a pic that you can compress this, and it will will really compress and stay. And so you will say, "Hey, cool! Why didn't you manage it then?" Well, because I messed it up. I uh, have to compress it again, and of course, do I have the uh right um pliers for that no i don't so i have to do other methods but at least i know now that it works this way and i can try it again and again and hopefully it will work but yeah this is frustrating like all for this shitty leds why did i do this but yeah now i have to remount it hopefully i don't ever ever have to change a mercedes mirror again this is this is hell See, now it is compressed. It really works, but now I have to be careful not to, you know, prematurely pop it back out. So you have to do this all over again. This, it really is an annoying process, guys. So now, plugging the mirror back, making sure I do it right, putting the right first and then plop it back. And oh my God, I hope I do it right. Hallelujah, guys. It really worked. Holy moly. This wasn't fun. And you know what's the most frustrating part? I screamed and shouted and was really pissed. But if you know the technique, it's really not hard at all. So guys, push this little pin back. And like, like if you don't have the pliers, I did it in, um, how do you even say? I don't know, like something that compresses, like a little press and it worked. And so you put the longer one in first and then you just plop it in and it it worked guys. It worked. It's going nowhere now. And <laughs> why is there always one piece which frustrates you till the end and then you finally get it done and it's like the biggest relief ever. <laughs> My gosh. There it is guys. LED. <laughs> At last, was it worth it? Absolutely not. Especially now that I really think you could you could have just pried those off and don't have like you didn't have to do this whole mirror mess that I did. Really not necessary in my opinion. But hey, I have it. I didn't half ass this time. There it is. So now I can finally drive it out and show you the full result of my whole project. I'm so glad I got it done. Let's drive it out, look at how it looks. That's not good. Jesus, an oil leak, that's what I would need now. Anyway, that's the final result. And LED door, lights as you see, dome. Now finally, 
and the trunk but you've seen the trunk already so um, yeah guys my little bit painful but in the end journey to LEDs in the Mercedes did I enjoy it sometimes but not the mirror <laughs> see you guys later